In this Flash Action Script 3 tutorial, you can learn how to distort the perspective or the view on your movie clips, uh, videos, anything you want using the 3D rotation tool in CS4. And let's go ahead and show you this thing playing. So you can see how video is playing in a uh, in a distorted perspective. And that's really hard to accomplish in CS3, but in CS4 it makes it really easy if you target Flash Player 10. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is here I'm in Fireworks and you can be in Photoshop wherever you make your TV image and uh, press Control C and then once you go into Flash CS4 press Control V to paste it on the stage there. Now you have it on stage in your layer and now we just created a new Flash Action Script 3 project in Flash CS4 here and there's the first layer and we're in the main scene and so I'm going to take that movie clip we just made and I'm going to convert it to a movie clip. Uh, the movie clip we just imported from Fireworks and I'm going to convert it to a movie clip and I'm going to call it uh, TV. I'm going to press OK and now it's a movie clip called TV and inside we'll double click to go inside and there's the original one movie clip that we imported. We're going to give it another layer inside and that layer we'll call Vid play. So vid play, and this one we'll just call TV graphics. And now we want to make a movie clip for our video. A rectangle, and draw it on the stage there. It's going to have to be the size of your video. At first, so you go into your properties. My video is 320 by 240, so I go into my properties panel make sure that symbol that I just rectangles 320 by 240 now when I create or when I right click this and convert this to a symbol called frame press OK and I give it an instance name in my properties panel of vid underscore frame vid frame and now uh, all I gotta do is pop my code in there so let's make another layer for the code and I've got my video code all assembled here and if you want to get to this code all you have to do is go to develop PHP and download this source tutorial files and there's my code and this is instance name vid frame so now the video should play at this point but we're not done yet so let's see if we render out. Okay, there's the video playing. Let's bring it up one. And that should be a good spot. Okay, now we're going to resize it to fit inside of that. It's going to oops, before we do that, let's move the registration dot to the top or the transform dot to the top left. Now I'll pull it up to where it fits right inside of the screen. And now it'll play when I press to render the file out. You see it's a little distorted, but that's okay because we're going for the skewed effect anyway. Now so we'll just go back out to the main scene now. You can press main scene or double click on anywhere outside of the stage there. and It'll bring you back to your main scene. And now you have both the frame and the TV in its own movie clip here and you press rotation, 3D rotation tool. Now with that, now here's where the magic happens you just skew it or distort it or rotate it to the side whatever you want to call whatever is happening there and then now when we publish out you can see we have a nice skewed video playing and a skewed TV both skewed at the exact proper angles and um, you can skew this thing any way you want you can move it up down and around uh, let's do something crazy like that. Let's see what happens. See, that's funky fresh, man. You can't get any easier than that. In Flash CS3, you had to uh, use something like Paper Vision or uh, sh uh, I forget what it's called. I think it's Flash Shady, Flash Sandy, Sandy Flash. 
something like that but it lets you uh, that and paper vision will let you uh, skew video like this but it's a whole lot more complicated and flash cs4 makes it really easy so we hope you enjoy this one and to get to the code for the video to play the video like i did so easily um, the video is just a let's see show you it's in the directory sitting there and it's called uh, right there it's video dot flv and the code i popped in there refers to it and you can get to the code by downloading this tutorial okay we'll see you guys next time